Hello. Welcome to another episode of The Joy of Building, where we bring the joy to your life by building in city skylines. Today we're going to try something a little different, see how it goes. As always, no stress, no stress. So last time we ended the episode by building the farm here and uh, the attached warehouse and uh, flour mill. I think we'll get right into it now. So we're going to try post commentary here. So this is after the fact. I think it'll allow me to give a more detailed description of what it was I was thinking. We are also time lapsing the video, hopefully to fit more into a shorter video. So as I said, we started, la we ended last time by building that farm, the, saw the, the, the flour mill and attached warehouse. It's generating some profit, but not nearly enough to get us into the green right now. We're going to consolidate our debt first. That's, that's a good way to play with the uh, loan system. Got a bit of residential demand, so I figured we might as well develop that out here. Just continuing the same development pattern we've already established earlier. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. As always, you gotta fill out the middles of these blocks so that, I mean, you don't have to. This is just how I do things to make sure the housings develop in a more consistent pattern. It's a choice, it's a choice, it's a choice. It's all how you wanna play. So I really wanna make some money here, so I'm gonna set the, this uh, these buildings to empty. That way they sell their goods rather than store it. Because we don't need to store it right now. We're not really producing anything with it. We're just trying to export as much raw raw goods as possible to make as much money as we can until we can turn them into something else. Put some uh, regular industry down just because we had to fill the demand we had. Nothing crazy. Nothing too crazy. Maybe save some money by turning that off I think was the plan there. Yeah, that was definitely the plan. Save some money there. And rather than build another police station, you know, we're just going to increase the budget. I think we need to expand here is what my thought was. Uh, sorry, I thought I think we need to expand the... Uh, capacity that we're holding on to uh, and emptying and having one silo really uh, doesn't do us justice so having having a few more there will allow us to generate a more consistent revenue as you can see we're already back into the green so instead of turning that other power plant on quite yet we're going to just increase the budget towards uh, the, the electric there that'll That'll save us the money of funding the building. Uh, so it's, it's a real toss up which one you want to do. I, I prefer to do it this way until we really have the budget to, you know, afford the actual building. I placed it down earlier though so that we, uh, you know, wouldn't have to worry about having the money later when we need it, because we will. Just fixing the highway issue here just got a bit of a, just a bit of a problem, but it's easily fixed by just extending the divided highway back, not putting all those junctions that close together. Simple, simple, simple. No stress, no stress. I'm gonna take another loan here so we can continue developing. Balance out our budget by taking a few more taxes. We've got a huge residential demand. So I think, yeah, I think we're just going to 
expand upon what we were previously doing, just developing the same way, no stress. Just doing what the game asks us to do. The game says build residential, we build residential. It's, it's not complicated, it's not complicated. <clears throat> Just managing the farm here to make sure we can make a consistent profit. It's important to manage your your budget at this time. Once you're making money, it doesn't really matter. You can put everything back to 100%. But for now, but for now, we got to make sure we fiddle with the budget to make sure we're not spending too much more than we're making anyways. Remember, the key is not to get stressed out, because once you get stressed, that's when you're not having fun, and when you're not having fun, that's when you just no longer play the game. You're just focused on what's making you stressed, and then you're not building a city that you want, and you're fighting with the game, and you don't want to fight with the game. You want to have fun, you want to get a city that you want, that looks the way you want, in your mind. And we don't want to fight with the game to get that. So don't get stressed out. Don't get stressed out. Just play the game. So right now, like I said, we're not, we're not focused on making the city look like what we want. We're just focused on getting the balanced budget. We need to balance the budget so that we can afford to do what we want to do. In order to balance the budget, it means we need more residents. As you'll see when we open up the tax panel, 60, 50 to 60% of our income comes from our residents, which means we need more residents. And here, we're going to toll them too, to use the highway. I think that's uh, fair. <laughs> you may not. But we have to maintenance the roads. So should they not have to pay to keep the roads maintenanced? But they pay taxes, you say, 13% taxes. Well, you know, that goes towards their health care and their police and their fire and the schools. And so I think it's justified to <laughs> toll the citizens to use the highway. I wouldn't want to work on the other side of that bridge, but, uh, you know, here and or there, here and or there. <laughs> it's all about fun. It's all about fun. Gotta have a laugh. Gotta have a laugh. You can't forget to laugh. Again, we're just gonna zone out some high high density because we need more residents. Because right as a citizens, pardon me, residents bring tax dollars. So let's bring in the tax dollars. Let's balance this budget. The town is overspending, so to solve the overspending, we have to bring in more people. When we bring more people, we'll have to create more jobs. When we create more jobs, <clears throat> we'll create more money. 
when we create more money, we'll create more people. And this becomes an endless cycle and eventually you'll just have so much money you won't know what to do with it. just zoning all this industry where we can. We're going to accept this bailout. We don't care. We're a failing corporation here. The mayor made a mistake. That mistake was institutionalizing smoke detectors. How dare he? How dare he? We'll turn that off later. We'll turn that off later. But as we always say, there's no but really there's no such thing as mistakes, just happy accidents. Because if we hadn't have turned it on, we wouldn't have developed the city this way. We wouldn't have had this character. We wouldn't have had this this reason for things being this way. Now that now that we did it this way, we know the reason for the things turning out the way they did. Now we do. So we don't stress about it. <laughs> Instead, we laugh and we uh, look at it as artistic style or whatever you want to call it. But there's no much, no such thing as a mistake. All you do is learn. All you do is learn. And if you're having fun while you're learning, guess what? I do it again. So let's have fun. Let's just have fun. Just filling out the residential the same way we were always doing. Nothing crazy here. Nothing crazy. Just keeping it simple. Just keeping it simple. This is generating us enough revenue now to support our city. It's amazing how that works. It's amazing how that works. So since that's what uh, is going to get us cash today, we're going to uh, toll the rest of the uh, citizens that are coming through our section of the highway. We have to maintenance our highway. And you know, as the corporation of uh, St. Anthony, uh, we feel that you should have to pay to use our section of the highway. So there we go, now you do. Only, only, only from one direction, of course, though, you know. Citizens can sneak out the other side there. So as you see, we are now made in a positive. That's good. That's all we needed. So now we can pretty much develop wherever we want to develop with time, of course, just waiting for the money to come in. And now that's what's going to determine our development patterns here. The money. When we have the money for projects, we will build the projects. When we don't have any money, then it will determine slower development. So, you know, this is just how the city develops the way I'd like it. Now you may find that through your own play, you come up with your own style, and that's, that's exactly what you're supposed to do. As every unique choice yields a different outcome in this game. And you just have to learn how to deal with that outcome. You just have to learn. There's no right way. There's no right way. So we're putting down a simple school for now. 
but uh, we will definitely upgrade these school systems later. We just need to get educated workers in so we get more commercial demand. Uh, you need medium uh, educated workers uh, to get more commercial demand. Low educated for dirty industry or whatever you call it, generic industry, I should say, rather. The systems in this game aren't necessarily realistic in terms of that function, but uh, they do provide diversity, so it is realistic in that way. I enjoy the, the balance this game strikes between realism and uh, a game functionality and if you play with it you can get a really good result and again as i say there's no right way there's no right way <clears throat> there's just a the right amount of realism and, and and like i said there's some of the realism is a little inaccurate in some degrees but you have to understand the developers were trying to portray certain aspects of life and it's hard to program everything into a game and i think they did it really well with this game they did this was a true masterpiece We're doing really well now on our budget. Things are coming through. This town's really developing. Pretty soon we're going to be able to start developing really the way we want. Uh, you know, get a style for the city going, you could say. For now, I think we're going to continue, yeah, continue expanding out the generic industry. I think that was the plan. Just to generate income and jobs and to keep the expansion process going. It's worth noting we are playing with realistic population on, if you hadn't noticed. So, things develop a lot different than vanilla. I'm taking note on how these rivers form, because I do plan on trying to dam this river at some point. <clears throat> um, might turn into a mistake. We'll see. We'll see. Or a happy accident, as we call them. It'll be fun. Lots of fun to come. Just remember, none of these things stress us out. Do not stress us out. We can't let it stress us out. There's no sense to it. No sense to letting it stress us out. Doesn't get us anywhere. Doesn't get us anywhere. We need more people living in the city, so we'll just keep expanding outwards. Real simple. Just follow the same development pattern we always have. We've already established the way we want to go. Same for this farm here. We've already just established the style of farming we're going to do here, the, the way it's going to look, so we'll just mimic it now. Uh, for now, uh, I think we're going to, yeah, expand this farm across into this next plot maybe perhaps in the future it gets divided we'll, we'll see we will see right now we can't afford to subdivide it into a second farm just need some more jobs more income Playing the game, just playing the game. Pretty oblivious to the garbage tab open, you know. When you're focused on these things in game, you kind of forget about them. <laughs> uh, 
That's good to know, I guess, if we're using all our garbage services correctly. Can't hurt, I suppose. Ironically, we do have garbage not perfectly being taken up over there, but what it is. Again, rather than build more buildings, just increase budgets. That's it. We don't want to service more buildings. We don't want to service more buildings. These junctions didn't quite line up, but uh, we're not going to let that bother us. It just creates a unique aspect to the city. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Here we're getting a lot of different lot sizes, and that's okay. Makes for some interesting development. Interesting development. Remember, there's no right way. No right way. We do need a high school because, uh, like I said, we want that medium educated workers for commercial. We don't want all this industry demand. It uh, gets quite tasking to have to build out a, a city focused on industry. It really does. And uh, actually, you start to have a lot of traffic problems when you have very little commercial uh, space. So. It's important to uh, build up that commercial demand when you can. As I always say, and it's important to remember, land value and education often go hand in hand. So, you know, you can, you can generally say that the higher land value is where your highly educated workers are so on and so forth. Pretty easy way to track it. As, you know, schools do increase land value. Uh, often, the highest land value will have the most schools in range or services. So, People with the highest education often live right around all the services and highest education possible, so obviously. <laughs> This diversity is important to keep. As I said, it's not completely realistic as education doesn't necessarily equate to job, but uh, to keep diversity in the game, uh, to portray diversity in the game rather, they've portrayed it this way, slightly inaccurately, but what can you do? They wanted to portray a complex system with a simple, with a simple system. So they've done that, they've achieved it. So it's important to keep this educated diversity by having pockets of places with low education and medium education, as well as high education. So it's, it's important to spread that out through your city and decide where it's going to be. If you, uh, if you make everything, if you make everybody highly educated, then uh, you lose demand for certain industry and uh, you don't want to lose demand for industry you want to keep demand for industry it's your highest profiting revenue so we just upgraded our main road there with a swivel road i think it was important for traffic management nothing crazy you know nothing crazy just going to expand these farms
expand this generic industry. Again, we're not connecting it much to this road because we don't want to create too many connections as it, is, as it is the highway. But if we were to, we would do something like this and use fences to block it off. That way that there's an easy way in and out and uh, traffic coming off and onto the highways un uninterrupted. <clears throat> Pardon me. You could probably go one step further and put a fence down this road too if you wanted to un make the traffic un un uninterrupted there as well. Oof, those big words, they get you sometimes, eh? Same for the industry on the main road here. It'll eventually be de-zoned here. But for now, we are kind of forced, our hands kind of forced to keep it there. So we do. So we do. We don't let it bother us. It's just the way things go. It's a little upsetting that we won't be able to develop this right now, this little peak. But there's, uh, there's nothing like we can do about it so we don't let it stress us out because... That'll just create a unique development later, that little little bit of land there when we do unlock that tile, or if we decide to unlock that tile, who knows, maybe we never will. Could just stay undeveloped for the entirety of the city's existence. Come up with a little story for it, maybe, if it does. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? You never know. You don't. don't know until you know. So just continuing residential development, same pattern as we always have. Nothing crazy here. Nothing crazy. We really have the main roads starting to show themselves here. It's important to Keep these roads in mind and really define them in your mind so you can really develop your whole road network around these major roads. I really like this three-laned three -laned road. It's good for now. Uh, it does what it needs to until the future when we have to upgrade it. I have plans for that. A few plans for that. <laughs> We'll see how it goes. We will see how that goes. I'm gonna try and learn a few new things. Never done before and you can join me on that ride. It'll be an exciting one. But once I've learned it, I, I really I think it's a great skill set to know once I've learned what I'm gonna do. And uh, I, I'm gonna develop it forward into future cities as well. So you'll see that uh, probably take part of my style. So now we're going to get rid of all this vanilla highway system because we really don't like it. We really don't like it. It's overdeveloped and it kind of tries to force your hand into developing a uh, over-the-top road network that you really don't need. Don't need. Not until you're a much bigger city. Not until you're a much bigger city. So we could have made this a bypass here and then just uh, connect it in, but we chose to do it this way. We may change it in the future. I have an idea here, but today we're going to connect right in there. We're going to finally connect this angled road up so we can start developing on the other side of it. I didn't want to develop until we had it connected in simply because I didn't know what it was going to look quite like yet, and I didn't want to get too stressed about it. So. I think we'll try to do that now. I think that's what we're planning. Pretty certain anyways. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. Oh yeah, we have to wait for the money to put another toll in here. Because if we don't put a toll here, everyone will use this as a bypass uh, to the tolls. That's right, that's what we were doing. I remember now. Now we gotta wait for the money for the bridge. 
Yes. In the meantime, this needs water and power, so it's most important to feed it that first. Things are coming together pretty good here. Real easy. Just letting the game tell us what to do. Just letting the game tell us what to do. This is, this is our city. Just follow our plan to get the results we're looking for. And that can mean anything. That could mean anything. There's no right way. You just have to have a vision in your mind. You just have to have a vision in your mind of what you want your city to look like and a plan on how to achieve that. And a plan. Real simple. Real simple. I'm gonna just fiddle with the roads here, make sure they're all doing what I want. <laughs> and this is why I've got a few plans here uh, coming uh, into the future here for developing this road network. I got a real idea, a real idea in my mind. It's going to take a bit of work, but we're not afraid of work. Work never scared us. Because we know that the reward of hard work is enjoyment. The reward for hard work is enjoyment. And that is what we're here to get. Joy back into our life by building a city and city skylines. No stress. Absolutely none. No reason for it. Absolutely no reason for it. So we're building the back road network here like we usually do on the main road systems. Got a lot of main roads coming in through here now. This is going to be a major junction coming up into the future here. Got a plan for a shopping center and a, and a big park there or a plaza, whatever you want to call it, uh, perhaps that will connect into connect into uh, our transport network later for buses or maybe a tram network. I'm not sure yet. I haven't figured out exactly what we're going to do yet for public transit. I had a few thoughts. Right now we're just expanding the grid, working it out, following the same development pattern we've done through the whole city little wonkiness to this road no bothers no bothers you know why because that's a unique road little wonkiness never hurt anybody create unique little interesting things in the city to look at don't want to create too many connections here but because of the way these diagonal roads come in, it creates a bit of a situation for where the roads should connect in. But as always, we don't let it bother us. We just make a decision and stick with it. Make a decision and stick with it. As I said, a plaza there. I think that's the plan of some kind. Just got to continue out the side road system. We want to keep as much traffic, internal traffic off these main roads as possible. Keep them flowing around the side roads here, back roads. And it looks like this is going to be a main road as well, so we probably should develop side road system maybe for this as well. You may think this is overkill, and that's an opinion, and it's a choice. It's a choice. I just choose to try it this city this way, you know? see what happens 
see what happens. You never know. You don't know until you try. You don't know until you try. Create some interesting little development areas where, you know, unique things will get built. Maybe not homes or not single homes anyways, maybe apartments or a big uh, commercial block, who knows? Something unique gets built in those little unique spots. Maybe the hospital. Didn't think about that one. Ooh, maybe that's where we'll put the hospital. Just dead end that side road there. It's got nowhere to go. No reason to connect in through to the end there. I think we'll do the same with this one. So I think we're going to go ahead and plan out this whole community on this side of the road now and uh, we're going to change the direction of the grid, not the size of the grid, just the, or the style I should say either, just the direction, just to give it a little flavor you could say, something different, something different. It's not crazy, you know, nothing crazy here, nothing crazy here, real simple, just dead end these roads out, you know. Nowhere for them to go, no reason to stress. No reason to stress, just dead end them all there. Easy, real easy. And because we put all these back streets in, we don't have to worry about overpopulating the main roads. We already know where we can draw to. We can just go straight to the road. We don't have to think about it. Don't have to think about it. Use a little fence here to direct development. Nothing crazy. I think we're coming to the end here pretty quick. I'm just going to finish up some of these fences and then I think we're going to call this episode a day. Might be getting a little ahead of ourselves, but we can always erase it. Morph it, turn it into something else. Who knows? It's always a mystery. You never know what you're gonna get up to get up to. And that's the fun. That is the fun. That is the fun. Just fix a few of these centers, you know, like I say, so we get even development or consistent development. And I think after we put these pipes in here, uh, we'll call it a day. So, bye. Have a good one.